Harrison there. Yes. That's going to do it here for Eyewitness News at 4.30. David Paul is standing by now for Eyewitness News at 5, which starts in just a couple of seconds. Now, your number one 5 p.m. newscast, Channel 8 Eyewitness News in HD. The man whose wife had an affair with Senator John Ensign breaks his silence and points fingers. Pursuer in all of... Wait. Well, Doug Hampton has a lot to say about what he calls payoffs, secret meetings, and an attempted cover-up by another U.S. Senator. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Three weeks after Nevada Senator John Ensign admitted to an affair with a family friend, the woman's husband comes forward with new allegations. Douglas Hampton spoke exclusively with I-Team political analyst John Ralston today. I-Team reporter Jonathan Humbert is here with what was said and how far these allegations may go. Well, only today, or rather uh, until today, we had only seen Douglas Hampton. He hasn't made a full statement as of yet, and that all changed. Hampton makes startling accusations to the Channel 8 I-Team from demand of millions of dollars to an orchestrated cover-up he didn't hold back, placing most of the blame on Senator John Ensign. And he just felt like if he handled everything correctly or right, that it would just go on that way and it would just be fine and he could just go on with his life. He never looked past the moment. Down the road, what would this mean? Impact of friends, what does this look like? How in the world would you ever believe a cover-up or something like this? Now, there's an important word there, cover-up. Hampton says after his house was robbed in late December of 2007, his family actually moved in with the Ensigns. That's when the affair is said to have started. Douglas learned about it shortly after and confronted Ensign, but he did it with close friends and Oklahoma Senator Tom Coburn. Hampton says Coburn was the driving force pushing for a multi-million dollar payoff and cover-up to keep this out of the press. The first money that was presented was from these men that confronted John. These men were the ones that said what we need to do is get Doug Hampton's home paid for and we need to get Doug Hampton some money and we need to get his family to Colorado. Hampton also said Ensign kept getting together with Cindy Hampton even after being confronted twice. Eventually, Hampton says Ensign paid Cindy more than $25,000 as a severance, his own money going to an ex-campaign worker, money that should have been reported to campaign finance authorities. Instead, Hampton says it came out of a senator's pocket. That could be a crime. For Hampton to admit all of this, it means that he too was in discussions about a cover-up. He said today his lawyers did not did ask for millions of dollars from Ensign. Again, according to him, pushed by Coburn. No word from Senator Ensign's office about the allegations of that severance. But the Oklahoma Senator's office said today Dr. Coburn did everything he could to encourage Senator Ensign to end his affair and to persuade Senator Ensign to repair the damage he had caused to his own marriage and the Hamptons marriage. Had Senator Ensign followed Dr. Coburn's advice this episode would have ended and been made public long ago. Now, Hampton also showed a letter supposedly written by Ensign calling this affair wrong and that he needed to break it off with Cindy Hampton. We, Cindy Hampton, we have that letter on our website along mm. with video. Full details about everything from the very beginning. That's on our website, lasvegasnow.com. Okay. All right, Jonathan. You can see part one of John Ralston's two-part interview with Doug Hampton on Face to Face on our sister station, Las Vegas One, Cox Cable 19, at the Times on your screen. You can also see the interview at LasVegasNow.com. Well, the grandmother of a little girl who drowned last week says the system failed her granddaughter. And I'm very bitter. And I just can't believe she's gone. Deborah Matthews' son is the little girl's father. Today, at a custody hearing for the little girl's half-brother, Matthews told us Child Protective Services should have done more to protect two-year-old Krissa Matthews. Yesterday, the I-Team uncovered 11 reports of alleged abuse or neglect against Krissa's family from the Department of Family Services, five of them substantiated. Matthews says she tried to alert authorities that Krissa's mother had a drug problem. Now she's fighting back, hoping the system won't fail Krissa's half-brother as well. And I called the CPS hotline and I was told by the hotline that drugs do not dictate uh, an incompetent parent. I just needed to know that he was going to be safe and he wouldn't be safe there. 
Officials with the Department of Family Services tell Eyewitness News the six-year-old boy was taken into protective custody. Trial has begun for the man accused of shooting four people inside the New York, New York Casino. For the first time, we're seeing the surveillance video from inside the casino that night. It shows the chaos and the moment the gunman was finally stopped. Eyewitness News reporter Amanda Hernandez is live outside the courthouse. Amanda. Paula, that video shows a gunman shooting more than a dozen times into the crowd and really gives you a feeling of the kind of chaos that really happened as people were trying to run away. We also heard testimony from those that are injured and say they're still scarred from being shot. I have about an inch from my knee down that I can feel, but that was it, was when I got back. The rest is what? The rest is completely numb, even to touch. Carrie Zaravico is the most severely injured of the four people shot that night inside the New York, New York casino. Her injuries have ruined her dance career. Today in court, the prosecution broke down step by step what happened during the shooting using surveillance tapes. Security officers, officers say the video shows more than 13 shots were fired and how a gunman was finally stopped when a man wrestled him to the ground. For those injured, the shooting seemed to continue on much longer than the tape shows. Just trying to take cover on anything I could find. Ultimately, word agenda. Well, my older son Reggie had pushed me to the floor and then I just stayed there because I was afraid to get up. Diana Waters' son was one of the people injured by the gunman. She says the injuries left her son injured for months and caused him not to be able to play sports. Now, Steven Zigrian showed no emotion himself during today's testimony, just sitting with his arms crossed. Now, he is possibly facing, if found guilty, life in prison. We're now reporting live. Amanda Hernandez, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Amanda. The latest home sales statistics show a positive trend for the Las Vegas market. In June, the number of homes, condos, and townhomes sold reached a new one-month sales record. The previous record was set back in June 2004. The number of single-family homes sold in June was up 70% from June of 2008. Condo and townhome sales also skyrocketed, up nearly 212% from last year. The median home price remained unchanged from the previous month, the numbers were compiled by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. Those numbers support what some real estate analysts are starting to say, that the Las Vegas housing market may have finally hit bottom. Channel 8 Eyewitness News is live. Edward Lawrence joins us from uh, Desert Inn and Lindell for a deeper look at what this all means. Edward. Hey Dave, in fact, a recent list was released of five cities most likely to have home values continue to drop. Las Vegas was not on that list. Things have changed so much that we're even starting to see bidding wars on some properties, and we haven't seen that in a few years. The home search nowadays starts with a list of foreclosed properties. Saturday, we looked at 17 homes. Out of the 17, three of them were in decent shape that we were will willing to put bids on. Richard Zwerkan and his wife moved to Las Vegas about a month ago from California. The American dream of owning a home was out of reach there. But here, prices have dropped so much that a $150,000 home is now a reality. We've been wanting a home for a while, and you know we don't have a lot of money to put down. so. It, it is more realistic for us, and I think now is the time for us. Zwerkan may be jumping into the market at the right time. He put in a bid for a home this week. That home received 25 offers. The bank picked an all-cash offer from an investor. Realtor Tony Jones sees this situation almost weekly. When you get into $100,000 homes, there are multiple offers. It, there's a lot of cash in town. There are a lot of people trying to get into this market. Jones believes what every homeowner in the Las Vegas Valley wants to hear. Home prices will do what this year? Stabilize. 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 I don't think we're in a free fall anymore. I believe that we have hit rock bottom. In a recently released list of the top five cities where home values will likely continue to drop, Las Vegas did not make the list. Phoenix is there, so is New York City. Jones has some advice for anyone who has enough money. Buy now, hold on for a couple years. It's, it's, the same, it's, it's the same old theory. No one to hold them and no one to fold them. All indications point Zwickan in the direction of buying a home. Now he has to be the top bidder. And Tony Jones believes that home values will not continue to rise or will not rise for another about 18 months or so. But she says the prices will not fall from where they are. And again, the National Association of Realtors says that uh, the median average price of a home from May to June did not change $140,000 in the Las Vegas Valley. Reporting live, Edward Lawrence, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Thank Edward. Four local clinics ordered to be shut down in recent weeks. 30. 
Tonight, a woman who had a procedure at one of those clinics describes what she saw inside. And a study reveals that the best drivers in the country are not here in Las Vegas, nor are the worst drivers. Find out where we rank and where the safest roads really are. Hi there, as we deal with the uh, the heat and the very low humidity, the bigger story the past couple days has been the winds. In fact, uh, outside this afternoon, we're seeing wind gusts up to about 25 miles per hour. They're out of the south and the west. Take a look at some of these numbers. So will these winds be here through the weekend and how much hotter is it gonna get? We'll take a look at your neighborhood forecasts coming up shortly. Deal Spotter on LasVegasNow.com is brought to you by Centennial Toyota. Are you struggling to make your mortgage payments? Are you upside down in your home? Have you received a foreclosure notice from your lender? Now is the time to save your home from foreclosure. Our Las Vegas company has real attorneys to deal with your real mortgage problems. Call now for your free, no obligation in-home consultation. Call now, 702 387 7111. That's 702 387 7111. Important legislation has just been passed allowing people with gas guzzling vehicles to trade in those cars for more fuel efficient options. We go now on location to Planet Hyundai. This is Brittany Williams here at Planet Hyundai on West Sahara. This new bill gives customers up to $4,500 for trading in their clunker for a more fuel efficient car. It works perfect for our lineup at Planet Hyundai. All our new cars are very fuel efficient, makes it easy for customers to make a purchase. Let me give you an example. You get $4,500 government money along with Hyundai's big factory rebates. You could purchase a new car for nearly half the price. Now, this program will be over when the government money runs out, so we urge you to take advantage. It's a great opportunity for auto buyers here at Planet Hyundai. Back to the studio. It looks like Planet Hyundai has the answer for those stuck in a gas guzzler. Call 938-1400 for more information on this program. This has been a Planet Hyundai exclusive report. Ode to the Subway Premium Big Hot Pastrami Sandwich. Your name speaks volumes. Big, check. Hot pastrami, yes indeedy. And premium, no doubters here. With your piled high, piping hot and tasty pastrami, pickle, spicy mustard, and melted cheese, you've made us the kind of believers that'd follow you blindly like nearsighted bison on a flavor stampede. Small price to pay for all that taste. Try one today. Subway. Eat fresh. This portion of Eyewitness News in HD is brought to you by Southern Nevada Nissan Alliance. This is Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 5 in high definition. Some changes are being made to the Red Rock area in an effort to improve safety out there. The speed limit along State Route 159 has been dropped from 60 miles an hour to 50 miles an hour. NDOT officials say the changes are necessary to protect bicyclists and those trying to enjoy the beautiful scenery. It is important because um, there were fatalities out here. and. One fatality is too many, and so felt that we can't do business the way we did to business before. We need to look at something new. NDOT will install signs and flashing lights to warn people about the speed limit reduction. They're also going to install additional signs reminding drivers to share the road with bicyclists. Well, Las Vegas drivers are more likely to be involved in a car crash than drivers in many other places in America. All states America's Best Drivers Report ranked Las Vegas in the bottom portion, ranking 153rd out of 200. According to the study, the average Las Vegas driver will be involved in a crash every 7.8 years. Henderson ranked 109th, North Las Vegas 141, ranking dead last Washington, D.C., and the city with the best drivers, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. You can see the full report at LasVegasNow.com. Ten years ago, a heavy rainstorm flooded the Las Vegas Valley. Just ahead, what's been done since then to avoid a repeat? Some local women may be victims of non-sterile medical practices. I'm Melissa Dudon, and I'll tell you why the State Health Division is investigating this clinic. It's the Cox Power Up Sale. Power up those new home electronics and save big. Get Cox Digital Cable, HBO, high-speed internet, and digital phone service for $79.99 a month. Bundle and save during the Cox Power Up Sale. Get our best bundle ever. Cox Digital Cable, HBO, high-speed internet, and digital phone service for $79.99 a month.
Hurry, this offer won't last long. Call 629-3819 today. You can't afford the best surfboard, car, or even a real girlfriend. But you can afford the best burger. The Teriyaki $6 Burger, back at Carl's Jr. Mom hasn't slowed down at all for her age. But I worry about her safety when I'm not around. Alert 911 now has made our lives easier and gives me reassurance Mom will never be alone. Alert 911 now offers local service with free in-home consultations. Low monthly payments of $34.95 with no long-term contracts or hidden costs. I worry a lot less since my mum has Alert 911 now. So eliminate your worries and keep your parents safe. Las Vegas RV announces the Everything Must Go Sale. Due to a recent shipment of wholesale RVs from dealers across the country, we're out of room. Over 150 RVs must be sold immediately. Save $95,000 on this 40-foot excursion. Now only $149.9. Save over $36,000 on this Terra LX Motorhome. Only $69.9. Get this 31-foot Dutchman travel trailer for only $69. The Everything Must Go Sale. Going on now only at Las Vegas RV. Call 866-RV-DEALER for hours and directions. Doors open to the public at 9 a.m. daily. Advanced Biomedical Research of America is conducting a clinical research study of an investigational medication for the treatment of painful diabetic neuropathy. We are looking for volunteers, male or female, who were diagnosed with diabetic neuropathy. All study-related procedures and study medication will be provided to qualified participants at no cost. Subjects will be compensated for participation. Call Advanced Biomedical Research of America at 898-2088 today to find out if you're eligible. Buy, sell, local. LasVegasCars.com You're watching Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 5 with Dave Cavassier and Paula Francis. The first local news in HD. New information today on why a local women's clinic was forced to temporarily close its doors. It's the fourth medical facility in two weeks to be found having less than sterile conditions. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Melissa Duran is at the clinic near Charleston and Pecos. She spoke with a patient who underwent a procedure and now wonders if it was safe. Melissa. Well, Paula, initially the state health division said that the problem here was that this clinic was operating without an ambulatory surgical center license. Well, it turns out after talking with the health division today that this clinic does not need that type of license. Still, state inspectors say that they found a number of sterilization problems inside. As you mentioned, I talked with one former patient today who tells us what it was like inside. After being issued a cease and desist order, Paul Schubert with the state health division says it's the fourth medical facility found with bad practices in just two weeks. Similar issues in all of the facilities uh, concerning uh, sanitation, uh, sterilization of equipment, uh, expired medications. This patient who wishes to remain anonymous went for an abortion five months ago. From the time she walked in, she had her doubts. I had to pay for it first. They didn't give me a receipt. They did an ultrasound, which they really didn't know how to do. The equipment, it was... 30. The health division says Dr. Vicky Mazzarano owns his clinic and is licensed by the medical board. But this patient isn't so sure a female doctor performed her pregnancy termination. I was in and out of the procedure and I didn't see the girl doctor in the room. I saw a guy that I didn't see at all when I was checking in. And he was performing the abortion? Yes. After the patient says she was given two envelopes filled with four weeks worth of pills. The health division says the facility is also being investigated for dispensing medication without a license. They urge patients to ask questions before undergoing any procedure. Any reasonable um, operation would allow you to see where it's going to be done, how, you know, it, it, it allow you to ask questions. For this patient, it's a lesson learned. Well, the health division tells us the clinic must now come up with a plan of correction before they will be allowed to perform those kind of procedures again. We did try to talk to the doctor and owner of this clinic. Our calls were not returned. For now, reporting live, Melissa Dudon, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Melissa. Well, 10 years ago, a massive flood washed through the Las Vegas Valley, and in a matter of minutes, heavy rain turned streets into raging rivers, swept away mobile homes and cars. Two people were killed, and the flooding racked up $25 million in damage. Betty Stewart survived the flood. All of a sudden, it's like the whole street was full. There was no way to get out, and the water started rising. It got up to our sliding door. 
Luckily, it stopped in, in the, our pickup truck and went clear up to the dashboard. There was mud and water there. In the past 10 years since then, the Regional Flood Control District built 82 detention basins and 515 miles of flood channels and underground storm drains and more improvements are still in the works in the years ahead. They are being paid for with money from the economic stimulus package. But it used to be so much worse. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my you're right. goodness. It did. I mean, it'd be, like, it'd be nice to get some rain, but nothing like that, right? <laughs> no, I mean, not nothing like, like that, that yeah. yes. Right. Uh, so far this year, still under an inch of rain total here in the valley. And uh, the past couple of days, uh, it's been very nice, very warm. It's going to be very dry. And the bigger story really has been the winds. Take a look at the uh, the shot there. So yeah. uh, we're going to keep these winds in the forecast through uh, Friday because we have uh, a dry southwest flow that's ushering in the winds. So if you're about ready to go outside and maybe take a run or, or maybe take a bike ride, uh, a great day to fly a kite because uh, we've had wind gusts up to about 30 miles per hour in many locations. So here's a look at what's going on. The winds are for the most part of the south southwest between say uh, 10 and 50 miles per hour sustained with wind gusts up to about 35 miles per hour in a couple locations. Uh, once again it's pretty warm outside. Uh, let's take a look at some of these current temperatures. Obviously uh, with the winds uh, maybe a little bit of a cooling effect but look at some of these numbers. East Cary at 103. Uh, North Buffalo but cooler you're at 97 degrees. West Charleston at 101 above the triple digit mark there for Mountain Vista down towards Seven Hills. You're at 98 degrees. Uh, Mesquite checking in at 102. Uh, typical high now, by the way, is 104 degrees. So for the most part, many locations are actually below that. Ambergose Valley at 104 right now. Overton, you're above that right now at 106. So we have the winds around. They're going to be here through probably Friday. So we'll take a look at the pollen count because I know a lot of you suffer from that. When we have the winds, they kind of swirl around the pollen. Uh, you can see the uh, trees in the moderate to high category as well as weeds with lots of ambrosia around the area. So there's a look at the radar and for the most part pretty quiet. There's a couple of showers moving through portions of the uh, the Midwest, uh, some activity down towards Atlanta and we do have one tornado warning up towards Dakotas. Other than that though it's pretty quiet. Temperature wise if you want the cool weather you have to head up to Seattle as we always know. Uh, they're at 62 right now. Look at Se uh, San Francisco at 67. Uh, Los Angeles in the upper 60s along the coast. Phoenix at 106 right now. Albuquerque at 95. So you can see the division between the jet stream, all the warm air down the south, the cool air towards the north. Chicago at 63 currently. Uh, look at Boston right now at 61 and Miami right now uh, in the upper 70s. So here's the forecast for us for some time to come. It'll be very hot. We'll get rid of the winds by Friday. It'll still be very dry as there's no rain in the forecast for some time to come. So tonight we'll get down into the upper 70s, gust up to about 25 miles per hour. The forecast for tomorrow, breezy still, sunny and hot with a high of 104. Like I said, we'll keep the winds through Friday, and then once we clear that out, we're probably going to see the hottest weekend so far. Look at Sunday, forecasting a high of 110 degrees. Okay, Ooh. go and talk about today and Paul for now. It's dry. Yeah. Thanks, Darren. Every month here at Chan Ladies, you probably know we honor a person who has made a difference in our community. Today, those honorees were given trophies and treated to lunch by KLAS and our Community Pride Partners and the Energy and McDonald's. The honorees do everything from working with at-risk children to mentoring minority businesses. They also raise money for local charities and organizations. And several members of our new staff took part in the luncheon. I was there. Also, Paula and Gary were the MCs. A lot of great people mm, there. Wonderful people. Yes. More budget protests in the Golden State. While demonstrators were rallying for their cause outside the governor's office, a battle was brewing inside over bills about fruit and condiments. Coming up, federal regulators say they'll crack down on investors who drive up the price of oil. Will that provide relief at the pump? That story and more tonight, only on the CBS Evening News. Next ET. Daddy has been the best to your father. Michael Jackson's courageous daughter Paris, new service secrets, and the investigation today. Doctors could be arrested. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Channel 8. The mystery of Blanket Jackson. He's Michael Jackson's youngest child. But who is his real mother? What the birth certificate says. Watch the next Inside Edition. Tonight at 6.30, only on Channel 8. If insurance companies had their way, accident victims would have no voice, no help, and receive nothing for their injuries. For many years, I've been the voice of my clients, making sure they receive everything they are entitled to. Go lightly in Associates. 222-3333.
It's the grand opening event finale at Ashley Furniture Home Store. Choose up to five full years interest free or no interest and no payments for one year. Plus save the amount equal to tax or save 12.5% off your entire purchase. Only at Ashley Furniture Home Store. Washington now runs your banks, insurance, and car companies. But do you trust Washington with your life? Congress is rushing to take over health care too. Paid for by $600 billion in new taxes and cutting $400 billion from Medicare. Plus, tens of millions will lose their current insurance and wind up on the government health plan. What will happen to your family's health care if Washington runs it? Tell Senator Reid to vote no on government-run health care. It's time to advance your life at Acura of Las Vegas. Log on to LasVegasAcura.com to browse our entire inventory. Right now, get the sporty 09 Acura TSX for just $2.99 per month. Get an 09 Acura TL for only $3.99 per month. Or an 09 Acura RDX SUV, also $3.99 per month. From Henderson to the Northwest, Acura of Las Vegas can help you advance your life. Closed captioning of Eyewitness News is brought to you by Spring Valley Hospital, the only hospital in southwest Las Vegas to be a chest pain center and primary stroke center. Still a lot of unanswered questions surrounding Michael Jackson's death, and that includes where he'll be buried. The Jackson family won't say where the King of Pop's final resting place will be or where his body is now. Today, the singer's death certificate was made public. It does not specify a cause. Investigators are hoping toxicology reports will provide clues into what caused Jackson's death and what medications he was taking. A hearing is also scheduled Monday for guardianship of Jackson's three children. Well, disabled Californians are fighting Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, saying his plans to close the budget gap would cost lives. Lost services mean lost the state is facing a $26 billion deficit. Lawmakers seem to be at an impasse. Governor Schwarzenegger wants to cut costs for welfare recipients and social service programs. But Democrats say that is unfair. They are fighting the plans. At least a dozen protesters were cited for physically blocking the entrance to Governor Schwarzenegger's office. And while that protest was going on outside the governor's office there, inside, lawmakers were bickering about three bills on the table dealing with fruit. The governor's not against fruits of any kind, uh, but he believes that we ought to be focused on solving our budget crisis first and foremost. Yes, you heard right. They are arguing about fruit-related bills. That's pretty big for an agricultural state Actually, like California. Yeah. Uh, one bill would create a commission to serve the marketing interests of the blueberry industry. Another defines honey to mean the natural food product resulting from the harvest of nectar by honey bees. And a third bill adopts regulations establishing definitions and standards for 100% pomegranate juice. What that means, Governor Schwarzenegger says discussing these bills is a waste of time. But Democratic Senate Majority Leader Dean Flores says the governor's criticism is childish. The governor's turned uh, from an action hero into another politician. He should really, really take a course on fundamental government and how the legislature works. Now, the governor's office shrugged off those comments, saying they are personal attacks that have nothing to do with the budget problems. We'll be right back. <laughs> Press your luck. Steer clear of flood water. Excuse me. I was on that table. Oh, yeah? You and what army? That is not smart. What is smart is shopping at CarMax. By thoroughly inspecting, reconditioning, and guaranteeing our used cars, we can offer new car-like quality at used car prices. So you stand behind the work you do? Every one of us. Now more than ever, the smart choice is CarMax, the way car buying should be. Oh, I like you so very much. So much, in fact, I gotta wake you up. It's not that I have words to speak. I just want to see you looking at me anyway. A home with a full digital hookup. That's what friends are for. That's
Channel 8 is celebrating seniors along with these sponsors. Maintaining your health as a senior can be challenging, but seeing a doctor regularly is the best way to overcome those challenges. Keep fit mentally and physically with activities you can share with friends and family. It's a fun way to stay active. You may have many questions about finding the right care that's best for you. That's why guidance is the key. There are many resources that will assist you in every step of the way. Don't press your luck. Steer clear of flood water. This portion of Eyewitness News in HD is brought to you by Nevada Loan Modification. Your real mortgage problems need real attorneys. Call 387-7111 for your free in-home consultation. 13-year-old Virginia boy is already a successful business owner and he's helping the environment. TJ Stroop is making a difference by helping others recycle. He collects all kinds of recyclable products, then his mom turns the items into new creations like purses and rugs. I'd always wanted to own my own business and recycling was helping to save the earth, so I was pretty excited. He's already made $6,000 and others are taking notice. TJ has received recognition from President Obama and he was selected first runner up for the Environmental Youth Award. He also won a Disney Going Green contest and he's working on a website and hoping to expand into North Carolina. Busy guy. Yes. Well, working on some new stories for you coming up at six. Gary's here now with a preview of those. Thank you guys. Stimulus funds are being put to work here in the Valley not only to create green energy but to create jobs as well. The newest project and how it will put the sun's power to use, helping Las Vegas recover. And cancer costs don't just disappear because somebody loses their job in this economy, but there are some options to help make sure that people get the treatment they need for a price that they can afford. That's part of tonight's Buddy Check 8, so we'll see you at 6. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Gary. Thanks for watching Eyewitness News at 5. Want to know more about something you saw on our news? You can find it on our website, lasvegasnow.com. And coming up, school children's suggestions on how to fix some of the country's biggest problems. That's next on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric.